Hey, Roadrunners, welcome back to the Lit Medallion. It's rice preview. Yeah, I know this is coming out Saturday morning. Yeah, I've had a, I've had one of those wonky weeks where life gets in the way in the evening when I can do this. And unless I have time to sneak away from my work during the day, I'm stuck doing a late video. So we're playing the Rice Owls. Ruck Feiss. I'm just going to say that. Not a fan of the school. Not a fan of the players. Not a fan of the band. Right? I'm just not. It's okay. I'm the only one that shares this sentiment, I guess. They don't bring anything to the conference. Don't talk to me about ac academics. This is about winning football games. This is about funding our football team. They don't put people on our stands. They might do better than East Carolina will. They're only three hours down the road. In fact, I live within three miles of Rice. I can ride my bicycle to the Rice football games when we play them. That kind of stuff. And never get on a major road, right? Not even get on a road. Except for my own street. I get there by going through the bayou and then going through a park and I'm right there. Boom. If you don't bring fans, you don't bring anything to the conference. See the SEC. See the B1G. See the ACC. And look at what's happening to the Pac-12. You can look at those stands. They don't do very well. They have pretty big schools, but they don't do that well. That's why that conference is kaput, right? Okay, I'm done with that. All right, let's talk about the differences in the team. So I'm going to start on the defensive side of the ball. We have roughly twice as many sacks as Rice does. We have 32 from the last time I checked. They have 16. That means our defense is doing far better than their defense is. Let's talk the offensive side of the ball. We run the ball at approximately twice as good as they do. They're like 850 yards total rushing, excuse me, as a team. And we're at almost 1,600, like 1,594. We run the ball better. That means our offensive line is a little better. It means we got better running backs. Their first two – first, it, we have three legitimate running backs is what it is. They have one and a half, basically, Right. Their third best runner was their backup QB. Yeah. 11 carries for like 100 yards, something like that. So they, they don't seem to be able to run the ball. Now, could that be a function of being behind in games? Haven't looked really close to see if they're behind in games and come storming back, having to pass the ball. Throwing the ball, they're about 2,500, 20, close to 2,600 yards compared to close to – Right, just shy of 2,200 yards for us, right? So offensively, we got about a 300-yard advantage to their credit. And here's where I'm going to talk a little bit. They have played SMU and Tulane already, right? Two of the best teams in the conference, right? They will, they will have played three of the best four teams in conference. They don't play Memphis. Memphis being, you know, obviously one of the best four. And we're... One of the best four, right? So this could be a function of who they've played. You've heard Coach Trailer talk about it. They call it intellectual brutality. I'm not so sure about that, but I do know they know how to hang around in football games. And teams we struggle with are teams that hang around in football games. FAU doesn't hang around in football games. North Texas doesn't hang around in football games. They come storming back. But you saw last night, they just imploded, right, against SMU. They had SMU, and they imploded. So guess what? That's why we pretty much took it to UNT. Score was closer than the game actually was when it comes down to when you look at the game. Score was closer than it actually was. They struggled with ECU, Rice did. We did not. But like I said, they only lost by three to Tulane, two to Tulane, three to SMU, and they beat Houston. So this is a this is going to be a team that we have to take seriously. Stats all, all across the board in our favor. We have a better offensive line than they have, better, definitely a better defensive line. Because if they've only got 16 sacks, they're not getting any pressure with their defensive line to allow linebackers to run free, right? 
you got to execute. You, the, the team just simply has to execute, and they have to go out with a desire to put this game away early. They have to put this game away early. This is the game that I think they have to put away early on their schedule. Right now. If they do, if they do, then that bodes well for the rest of our season because that tells all of us that demons of the first four games have been exercised. And we're on our way to making a, a true run to that conference championship game. Right? Right? We put this team away early. They get on the sideline. They get four strings in there, right? They can get Frank out of there, get Owen in there. That's good. We need that. We need that now. You know, Coach Coach Trailer talked about just having been in a position to give Owen more reps. Well, some of that is is you're really not going out there to put them away early, right? None of our teams have we really gone out there to put them away early. We jumped out kind of early on, on on UNT, but then we kind of sat on the ball after that a little bit in the second half. Like, but like he said, it's on him, and and I agree, it's on it's on our offensive coordinator. There's things that we should be doing at times that we're not doing. I love the running game. I love that these kids can run the football now. That's fun to watch. And you know it's fun to watch. Because when you can run the football, you get it to Gavorian, and he just makes that, that one, puts his foot in the ground, turns it upfield, and he hits that defensive back coming at him hang, and hangs onto the football. And then next thing you know, you've got Henry and Griffin going at left and right, left and right, left and right, boom. They might not have the ma ma massive yards, but they always get yards, Right? And the defense gets worn down, and then it's easy because then once Frank starts running that read option, he can pull it. Passes are going to be wide open. He can run around the end, whatever he needs to do for an easy five yard gain. And then now they're there's the defenses don't know what to do. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. JT Daniels is most likely gonna play. Devin McEwen is out. Again, I think that's concussion protocol. JT Daniel, they don't say, right? But I, but trust me, the way he hit his head on the on after he tried to catch that pass uh, was was pretty violent. Was pretty bad. JT Daniels saying it's concussion protocol. Who knows, right? But Coach Trailer thinks he's going to play. I, I'm almost positive he's going to play. We're we're gonna be everybody from Conference USA that we play. We're their their conference championship game right now. UNT gave us everything they got. You saw it against SMU. This is SMU's team they've been waiting for. Play like crap. They play like garbage. But with us, though they didn't play like garbage. Yeah, they turned the ball over, but we created. We literally created two of them. We hit the ball out of their hands. One like their court, one like last night where he just simply dropped the ball and gave the ball to to SMU. That didn't happen for us. We had to get our hands up, tip it, go to Donye, right? Rashad punched the ball out. That's defensive playing. That's smart. Right? So we'll see. Now I did not look at turnovers. I didn't care to look at turnovers because I think turnovers are 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 I don't, it, it's it's weird to say because you do want to win the turnover battle but unless you've got defensive backs that are just like jumping routes and everything which that's not what we're having right turnovers are kind of one of those things that kind of happen in game you can't cause them all the time unless you punch the ball out unless you tip the ball Right. But even then, a lot of that's, I don't want to say luck, because you've seen a guy tip the ball and it goes back to an offensive player. He runs for first down or he catches the ball or it just get, falls down harmlessly. Right. You've seen defensive backs have the ball right in their hand, jump the route, goes right through their hands. It wasn't a turnover, should have been. Right. So I, I didn't really bother to look at that. 
uh, from a rice standpoint to see if that's what they rely on. But if they rely on turnovers, they better be able to stop the run, right? They better be able to stop the run. I didn't look at defensively what they do, their run defense. Let me look that up. Let's see. Because they're number five in offense, which I found kind of odd. If they're number five, then we got to be higher. But it is what it is. So let me pull it up really, really quick. Stick with me, guys. Stick with me, guys. Stick with me. I said I wasn't going to pull this up. I said I was just going to look at it. So let's see. Boom. No, dismiss. I don't want to buy some bogus... Let's see. Do, 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 do. Rice. Boom. See what their defensive performance is. Rice. Boom. Stats. Boom. Team defense. 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 Don't worry. I got to remember. Got to go by players. Let's see. Defense. Are they not going to give this to me again? They're going to do this crap to me, aren't they? Team. Team defense. What? 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 Wait, 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 wait. Anyway, it doesn't matter. ESPN's changed their, the way they do the stats out there. You used to just get straight offense, defense, per game, like that. And apparently, I, I can't find that anymore. Weirdest thing ever. Weirdest thing ever. You know what I can do? Ooh, think about this. They can't, they can't, they can't defeat me. Let's go to Rice. Let's look at when they played SMU. Let's look at team stats. So against SMU, they got 223 yards rushing. Five yards carry. Now SMU Carried the ball pretty good last night against against North Texas. But North Texas just came off an emotional loss, short week. We'll see. I don't think they can stop the run. We we need to be able to run. Anyway, peace out. See you in the Alamo Dome. Birds up. UTSA 35. Rice 11.